Hi, I'm Ashley Lopez, and I will be explaining Jean Piaget's theory of cognitive development and Christian maturity. So there are four stages of Piaget's theory of cognitive development. I found this in Cook Cotton 2004. The first stage is sensory motor stage, and that happens between infancy and two years old. The next stage is pre-operational stage, and that is from two to seven years old. Then there's the concrete operational stage, and that is found between ages seven to 11. And lastly, there's the formal operational stage, which is 12 and beyond. So the sensory motor stage is information is processed through sensory experiences and their engagements on objects in the world around them. So infants discover the relationship between the surroundings and their bodies. This was cited in Cartwright. Some examples are sucking on fingers, grasping at objects, listening to things around them, and looking and observing things around them. Here is a personal photo of mine, and that is my son Jerusalem, just loving life, observing his environment around him. The pre-operational stage by Cartwright 2001 explains that children in this stage think symbolically, but they do not use cognitive operations quite yet at this time. This stage allows them to think of objects mentally, but not experience them. So some examples would be pretending to drum with kitchen utensils and pretending that they're drumming on a drum set or riding a broom and pretending that it's a horse. So there's a lot of interactive play going on. And using a box and pretending it's home is another example. So concrete operational stage, the child can acquire logical reasoning, The thinking may still be very concrete, but they are able to develop logical reasoning at this time. That was cited by Cartwright. Some examples of this would be um, the ability to master mental arithmetic, addition and subtraction. The formal operational stage, which is the last stage, allows the individual to excel the limitations of the concrete by intellectual reason reasoning and con non-concrete prepositions, pre and that was cited by Cartwright. The thinking here is more sophisticated and progressive. Some examples of this would be to formulate hypotheses and test them, and the ability to reason contrary to the fact. So they would be able to understand or to reason if somebody said, the grass is orange. They'd be able to understand while well, the grass is green. Now with Christian maturity, in 1 Peter 2.2, 2, it says, Crave spiritual milk like newborn babies, that way you may mature. So Smith, cite, Smith says, Maturity as a Christian is being mature in our faith. Is basically the process of growing and developing into who the Christ wants you to be as a person. Smith claimed that there were a few reasons how you can mature and grow deeper in your Christianity. And this would be getting to know Jesus through learning. So actively seeking an intimate knowledge and understanding of him. And Jesus also becomes your number one. So he becomes your first love. He's above everything else. And that's how you get closer to Christian maturity. You also serve Jesus in everything you do. So this becomes a rhetoric to his calling and expression of commitment to him. So basically in all things that you do, you put Christ at the center. Like when I go and cut hair, I'm, I have to look at it like I'm doing this for Christ. How is Christ, how am I living this out to where I'm serving these people so that it glorifies Christ? 
So there's some stages in relation to Jean Piaget's theory of cognitive development that kind of relate to spiritual development or maturity. So when you first become a new creation, you become a spiritual infant. And this is when you're lacking understanding in Christ. And then you grow a little bit more and you become a spiritual child. So this is where we are in the process of growth and maturity. However, we still have egocentric ways. So this kind of falls back to um, John Piaget's stage where you're no longer in infancy, zero to two, but you're starting to understand and grow more. And then spiritual young adult, you grow into and they start becoming more Christ-centered and relational focused. And then lastly, spiritual parent is what you become. And you become more like a disciple of Christ and you try to mimic Christ's behavior. So some of the similarities that I found between Jean Piaget's cognitive development theory and spiritual maturity as Christians is it's a process. It's a continual learning thing and you have to, it's continual you're always growing you're always growing as a person you you never stop growing where in christianity you don't stop growing in christ either you try to put yourself more in christ like each time to grow deeper in your intimate relationship with christ in each case is different and there are different influences that may affect our learning. And then healthy maturity involves growing out of self-centeredness, egocentrism. And the egocentrism is interesting because it was found both in Jean Piaget's cognitive development with kids. And it's also found in us when we go from kind of denying ourselves and our worldly selves um, to being more like Christ. but before when we first start off we're still stuck in our old ways and our old habits so we're kind of egocentric in that that aspect and then also we develop relationships with others some differences i found between them in some areas piaget underestimates the development of young children not all areas but in some i can see and matthew 19:14 says biblically speaking the kingdom of god belongs to children so i believe this validates the exceptional capabilities that young children have in perceiving the truth because jesus said that children can acquire the kingdom of god and we need to be more like that so i believe that they have a better understanding of how to you know discern the truth and be affectionate and kind of just show, just be able to perceive areas that are a little bit more knowledgeable. And then Piaget did not specify on cultural influences or upbringing. So, and Proverbs twenty two twenty six says, train a child upright and they will not steer from it. Ways you can integrate is compare similarities that align with the biblical worldview. You must remember that it's always important to keep God as number one authority. He's the number one authority above all. In Whistle 2015 says to integrate fully, we must allow scripture the primary role in our Christian worldview. And Whistle also states expanding knowledge base in areas that are fruitful in integration. So it's crucial that we expand our knowledge not only in theological aspects, but we should also expand our knowledge when it comes to psychology and um, look for ways how psychology integrates or aligns with our biblical worldview. So both Piaget's theory of cognitive development and the maturity of Christians have similar stages. If you compare the two, they kind of align with growth and it's a continual process where they're constantly growing. 
um, the Piaget's development theory and maturity of Christians access areas of growth and development. So it's constant. There's always growing. As a Christian, you're growing from a baby to an adult, you're growing. They both obtain beneficial information necessary in integration. And it's important to keep a biblical worldview regarding any subject. We have to remember that scripture and God's word is very authoritative and it should be used as a primary source. And here are some of my references. Thank you.